What's up guys? So it's another day. It's a nasty day today. It's raining outside. It's really cold. It was a little bit foggy this morning as well. I have a question for you guys today as always. And today's question is what do you guys think about the YouTube and Google Plus comments being aggregated? Now in my opinion at first I didn't like the idea. I thought it was um, pretty confusing. And as a matter of fact, it even stopped me from receiving notifications when someone left a comment or subscribed to my channel. So I actually had to merge my Google Plus account, which was um, a little bit of a hassle. I really didn't want to have to do that. And since I had to merge my Google Plus account, I had to either change my YouTube name to my real name, or I had to change my Google Plus account to review the best which I decided to do the latter and change my Google Plus account to review the best, but I still am live on Google Plus at Aaron Mason. But now I'm getting a little bit used to it and now I think that it has a little bit more of organic engagement and I think it also makes it a little bit easier for the giveaways. That way there isn't just random people commenting, there's actually people with valid entries when they go to uh, enter one of my giveaways. I do like the new YouTube and Google Plus aggregation of comments. It does seem to be working out a little bit better. There is less trolling going on in the comments section. I'm not too sure about the engagement yet. I'm hoping that we have the same amount of engagement going on. Almost done building my favorite spot. That is in and out One of my favorite burger places to eat. It is nearly complete from construction. So I'm doing a little bit of editing and I'm getting ready to um, upload this next video for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start off today's questions. And the first question comes from Ruben Guterres and he asks, do I like jailbreaking? And the answer to that is yes, I do uh, jailbreak some of my devices. I don't really jailbreak my tablets. I do jailbreak my phone to get uh, some of the awesome tweaks that they have available on the Cydia store. And now with iOS 7 here, I'm interested to know if you guys are going to be jailbreaking as soon as the jailbreak is released. And by the way, I will have the instructional step-by-step -step tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 7 on my channel. So be sure to subscribe for that and uh, so you guys will be notified first of the jailbreak once it's released. So yeah, let me know down in the comments section if jailbreaking is something you guys are interested in doing even though iOS 7 has a completely different change to the OS. Our next question comes from Tech UK, and he asks, do you have an Amazon wish list? The answer is yes, I do have an Amazon wish list. I'm gonna go ahead and start linking it down in the description with all my other links to my social networks so if you guys want to check out my Amazon wish list, once again, it will be linked down below. And if you guys want to send me a few items off of my wish list, uh, I don't expect you guys to, but if you do, um, awesome. And our last and final question of the day comes from Daniel Acosta. And Daniel asks, will I be purchasing the Apple iWatch? And the answer to that is yes, I will be definitely getting the Apple iWatch. It is said to be running a full version of iOS 7. And yeah, I will be picking that up as well as the uh, Apple physical television set that should be released sometime in 2014. Apple's also said to be releasing an Apple iPad Pro with a 12-inch uh, screen. If that's the case, I will be picking that up as well. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I appreciate everybody dropping me questions down in the comments section. If you have a question that you would like for me to answer, go ahead and leave it down in the comments, and I will try to answer it for you. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel up above, and I'll see you guys on the next one.